Welcome back to our Boat Life Sailing Adventure, episode 13, as we cross from Ireland back to England. So today we set sail. It's a Friday. It's raining. We have no AIS working. We're one crew member down. Um, what else? The electrics went wrong this morning. And I think we've got no GPS as far as I know. So, uh, <laughs> recipe for uh, disaster. Let's hope not. <laughs> Welcome to our little adventure. We're the Kadoa crew, a regular couple with a very unregular dog who've decided to quit the nine to five rat race in exchange for exploring the world on our classic blue water cruiser sailing boat, a Trident Warrior 38. Feel free to follow along as we transition to life living full time on a sailing boat. today. Not the beautiful sunshine we've had the last couple of days, but um, Celebi, we've got a couple of days sail now. We're going to be heading down towards Cornwall. I love Cornwall. And um, I hope that we avoid sick seasickness, see some dolphins, and maybe the sun, sun pops back out again and blesses us for a little bit of the journey. That'd be nice. We're expecting fairly light winds as well. I've been sat down studying the uh, isometric charts so it'll be quite a smooth sail, light winds, winds in the right direction and uh, yeah we'll manage to get all the way down to Cornwall, fingers crossed with no more issues. <laughs> With our journey so far, another setback. Uh, we've lost the outboard line in the boom, and the whole sail bag has jutted back into the sail, meaning we can't get a good shape in the sail. And I think the main sail is now out of use. Um, so we've made it down to Southern Ireland. We're now going to head into Arklow for a uh, pit stop, try and get it sorted. We were looking for an excuse to go to the pub again, <laughs> um, and they. Uh... <laughs> The boat hasn't let us down in that respect. No, <laughs> plenty of opportunities for pub visits, for sure. So, uh, yeah, uh, another delay, but still smiles on our faces. That journey from Don Leary down to Arklow has really taken out of Dominic. So Eddie and I headed to the pub for a quick nightcap. Good morning from Arklow. And it does look like a good morning. Bad. We uh, took a little bit of a detour because we had some sail issues which we still haven't resolved yet and we've got a bit, a bit of chafing 
pretty bad chafing in uh, our second reefing line, so we're going to... The reefing line really looks like it needs replacing, but I'm not sure if there's an area around here to do it, so we're going to cut it short and um, try and make the best of it. And then we'll be back on our way to Falmouth. Eddie seems really eager for me to do this job. <laughs> Just like he seemed really eager for me to pack all the sail bag up on a roller coaster ride yesterday. <laughs> I think I've done something to upset him. Voila. No more chafe. Oh, almost, man. Better than it was. We're leaving Ireland. Uh, we're leaving Ireland again. And we're now heading, we've sorted our sails out, we've sorted the, the chafe reefing line out, we've sorted the outhaul out. We are heading now to Falmouth again, and we did a little bit of shopping whilst we were stopped in Ireland. And we haven't seen any dolphins um, at all yet, and Carly's really keen, we're all really keen to see some dolphins. So, Carly bought some sardines. Okay, it's dolphin time. <laughs> sardines, are they ready? Uh, we can try and get some dolphin footage by chumming up the water <laughs> it was Carly's idea but we're yeah. gonna drop one in every few what? minutes and leave a little trail and hopefully they can't find us we're intelligent animals you do a trail of juice first <laughs> that little whiff of oil just <laughs> spread throughout the sea not, not really behind the clouds on one side and the sun disappearing on the other. Okay, so it's yeah my first solo night shift and we are just heading down towards Cornwall and we're about I think 12 13 hours left to go. We just just joined by some dolphins again. Yeah, just so I sat all on my own, staring out into the uh, into the open. As I say, all of a sudden a couple of dolphins just popped up to say hello and had a little swim. And um, yeah, just had a quick check to see where we are. Just in the uh, Bristol Channel. So I've just started the uh, second night shift. However, we're sleeping down in the forward um, cabin and uh, when I got up to get ready to come up, it was amazing. I could hear all the sonar, all the dolphins. So before I'd even stepped foot up in the cockpit, I knew there was going to be lots of dolphins. Um, it was really cool to hear them communicating. Um, yeah, really awesome actually. Came up, loads of them everywhere, I think. We've all had a few dolphins on our ship. First thing in the morning, it's about half past five in the morning. Everyone's asleep. I'm on shift and uh, it was getting lonely and I've just been joined by these little fellas again.
a sale that felt almost David Attenborough worthy, Mother England was back in sight. After an amazing adventure, we have made it safe and sound to New Lynn in Cornwall, and we are back on English soil. For any of you that have been following our boat life adventure thus far, you'll be well aware of exactly what time it is. It's time for some reconnaissance. Yeah.